Here's your three minute update for the upcoming 2023 tax season. Okay, this email came from the IRS. So follow along. I'm going to give you a summary of exactly what they are telling you to do to be prepared. One, you are going to receive 1099 Ks if you use apps such as Zelle, Cash App or PayPal. Now, if you are a business owner, you are already familiar with this. But the difference is now anything over $600 will generate you receiving a 1099K. That also goes for individuals who are not business owners, all right? So if you use those apps, please be on the lookout to receive those. I'm also going to throw in a 1099C. They aren't talking too much about this, but a lot of you guys are having your student loans wiped out through the borrower's defense. Some of you are settling your debts, um, you know, trying to fix your credit. Good job. If that is you and you paid less than that amount, you may receive receive a 1099 C which stands for a cancellation of debt so if you have that or you're in that situation make sure that you have all of your 1099s why because the IRS is saying they don't want early filers to skip filing things that they should file because it could result into a desk audit uh, an amended tax return or you may have to pay okay so the best way to ensure that you have all of your documentation included on your tax return is to go to the IRS website, create you an account, and you can just click on the year and it will show you all of your W-2s, all of your 1099s. It will be in the, um, the, in the IRS format, but you will see what someone has reported about you so that you can include all of your income on your taxes because you don't want any holdup for your return. Now, let me add to that. Yes, we're still going to have the PATH Act, so you're not going to be able to receive anything until after February 15th. So you have time to check your taxes before you file. So please, you should have all your 1099s by January 31st. If you don't, go to that portal and make sure that you have everything included. All right. Now, the IRS is also stating that please do not wait on your tax refund to pay your bills or to make a major purchase because they cannot guarantee that you are going to receive your tax return or refund on time. Now, I've been telling y'all this for the longest and then letting you know that it is going to be delays. So be prepared. Last but not least, look at our rates for the children. They have also been telling you that your tax refunds aren't going to be as large as they were last year because the numbers for the earned income tax credit, the child tax credit and the child independent care credit have all gone down and have gone back to the 2019 rates. So if you don't know those amounts you can look at it here or you can look at it up online follow me for more information like this i also have a youtube channel thank you guys for watching and get prepared for the 2023 upcoming tax season